morning, Bishop Lewis. Please stand for prayer. This Sunday, the church honors St. Francis Xavier, who was a 16th century priest born into a noble family in Spain. Francis left Spain and went to a university in Paris with aspirations of worldly success until he welcomed a new roommate, Ignatius of Loyola. Even though Francis was reluctant at first, he eventually embraced the call to become a priest. He committed his life to the church and would become one of the greatest missionaries since St. Paul. In his 10 years of missionary work, St. Francis Xavier traveled 38,000 miles and brought the gospel to many parts of Asia for the first time. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. St. Francis Xavier, the gospel was planted deep in your heart through the spiritual exercises given to you by St. Ignatius, your founder. Those exercises transformed your life, and through you, many others' lives were touched. Please pray for us that we will be open to the transformation that God wants for us, so that we can go forth to share his love with others. St. Francis Xavier, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For lunch today, we'll be having breaded regular or spicy chicken sandwich, or PB&J, mashed potatoes or celery, tropical fruit, sidekick slush or craisins, and milk. Happy birthday to Damian Jackson and Peyton Pickard who are celebrating their birthdays today. Over the weekend, Abby Vasquez will have her birthday. Happy birthday to you all. We have a lot of announcements today, but first, Paul is going to give us our weekend weather report. On Friday, we can expect rainy weather all day with a high of 44 and a low of 39. For Saturday, you can expect cloudy skies with a 19% chance of rain in the evening. For temperatures, we'll have a high of 46 and a low of 37. And Sunday, we'll have a 38% chance of rain in the morning with a high of 48 and a low of 34. We would like to welcome Nicholas and Oliver Freiberger to Bishop Lures today. We hope you enjoy your visit. Don't forget the Bin Bubbles fundraiser. Cash prizes are available for students who sell 10 or more subscriptions with the top prize of being $500. Each subscription sold will get you a $5 gift card to either the Stand or Davies Bagels. The Christmas Stands is coming on December 16th. Tickets are on sale now for $25. Just a reminder to all students that the girls must wear long dresses and the guys must wear a tie with their outfit. Students from other schools will not be admitted to the dance. If you have any further questions, please talk to Mrs. Shifley or Ms. Gooden. The Honey Fundraiser has started. Get your sweet stocking stuffers from any swim and dive team member today. If students need to change an elective for next semester, please stop by the counseling corner for a change request form. There will be no core class changes unless recommended by a teacher. Per class change policy, students will have five days after the start of the semester to request in writing a change of electives only. There will be a $15 charge for each change after the five-day grace period. Wrestling is looking for a student manager. If you are interested, please come to the practice at 5.30 p.m. in the wrestling room to speak with the coaches. The confirmation class with Mrs. Ish will be held this Monday, December 4th. Attention all FBLA members. As a reminder, the registration fee and hotel deposit are due today. If you do not pay today, an additional $20 fee will be added to your account. Also, please turn in your competitive events to Mrs. Carroll. The Bishop Bluers bowling team dominated the lanes last night against Carroll at Thunder Bowl and have continued to have a strong season. If you want to support this group, they compete every Wednesday. Come out and support these talented bowlers. The Indianapolis March for Life is coming in January of 2024. Be sure to see Mrs. Serrani or Mrs. Ish to join the Knights for Life as they participate in this epic event. You can also use the QR code on the posters throughout the school. Many of our Sedalitas groups are providing a family in need this Christmas through the Allen County Christmas Bureau. If you are interested in participating, please have your gifts turned in by, to Mrs. Ferdon no later than Monday, December 4th. Cash donations are due today. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ferdon or any other participating Sedalitas group. 
That's all for today, Lewers. I'm Aubrey Wigman. I'm Bella Aguirre. Praise God. God.